Hello, I'm Tammy Taylor, president of Tammy Taylor Nails, and today I am going to be demonstrating for you my brand new white collection, and we can never have enough whites. So I created nine brand new whites in all different shades and textures, and they're all fabulous enough to be used by themselves or with each other and with colors. And the white collection is perfect for all the upcoming spring weddings. Now let's get started. I will be demonstrating a pink and white sculptured nail using the new triple white W3 and the original pink is pink. My nail is already prepared, so I'm going to put on my nail form. Roll your form. Apply it under the free edge. Make sure you get underneath those corners. Keep the curve in the form. Stick down the sides. Squeeze together your little wings. Now apply your second coat of primer right before you apply your acrylic. Dip your brush all the way into your liquid. Wipe it away from you. Drag towards you in your powder. Get a nice ball. Place on your form. Let it flow. Pat it out. Bring it up into your corners. Wipe off your brush. Get a little bit of liquid. Get it up into your corners. Turn your brush around. Make your smile line. Pat out your white, clean up your free edge, get it just how you like it. Now I'm going to apply my pink as pink, dip my brush into my liquid, wipe it away, a nice little pink ball, place this halfway down the nail bed, let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you. This is a small wet ball. Place about a 30 second of an inch away from the cuticle area. Let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. Then our fourth ball is a small wet pink ball. Dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you. Place this in the center, let it flow. This is your stress ball. Stroke it out, side, side, center. The nail is starting to dry. It's no longer shiny. I'm going to squeeze the C-curve. This makes the nail have a nice slender appearance and makes it really strong. Now I'm going to file the nail with a 180 Zebra and buff with oil using my clean finish buffer and my conditioning cuticle oil and then I'm going to clean the nail. Now before I put on my A plus coat, I am going to put a bow on it. A little pearl and rhinestone bow for my put a bow on it collection. Get a little bit of clear acrylic. Little ball. Place it right where you want to place your bow. Using your jeweler's tweezers, place your bow, get it just how you like it, and let it dry. It's now dry and we're going to apply our A plus coat. Make sure you put it all around it, cover your whole nail. And you have a pink and white sculptured nail using the new triple white W3 and the pinkest pink with a pearl and rhinestone bow. I will be demonstrating the new satin white prism acrylic over the entire nail. Now the nail is already prepared, so I'm going to apply my nail form. Put a curve in your form. Place the curve under the free edge. Make sure it goes under the corners. Stick down the sides. Stick down the little wings and apply your second coat of primer 
So the primer is wet when you apply your acrylic. Now I'm going to apply my new white satin Prisma. Dip your brush in, wipe it away from you, drag towards you in your powder, get your ball, place your ball onto the free edge, onto the form, pat it out, bring in the sides, pat it out, bring in the sides, clean up your free edge, Get it just how you like it. Okay, now get your second ball. Dip your brush in. Wipe it away. Drag towards you. Place this ball halfway down the nail bed. Let it flow. Stroke it out. Side side, center. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you, place this ball about a 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle, let it flow, get as close as you can without getting on the cuticle. Then stroke it out, side, side, center. Now I apply the fourth ball. Dip your brush all the way into your liquid. Wipe it away from you. Drag towards you in your powder. Place this in the center. Let it flow. This is my stress ball. And then stroke it out. Side, side, center. And let it dry. As the nail's starting to dry and it's no longer shiny, I'm going to squeeze my C-curve. This makes the nail really strong and nice and slender and gives a beautiful curve to the nail. Now I'm going to file my nail with my 180 grit zebra and buff with oil using my conditioning cuticle oil and my clean finish buffer and then clean off the nail. Before I apply A plus coat, I'm going to put Dazzle Rocks Diamond Crystal Polka Dots on the nail using brush on glue. Whenever you're doing polka dots, always remember the three two, three pattern, and then they always turn out really good. Put your center one on at the cuticle area. That's like your gauge. Get that one where you like it, and then everything else follows in suit. Then continue applying each little diamond until you have all of your polka dot pattern. Apply A plus coat on the entire nail and on top of the rhinestones. Oh, that is so cute. The new white satin Prism acrylic with Dazzle Rocks diamond crystal polka dots. I will be demonstrating the new Dazzle Rocks Glistening Sands Prism acrylic, which is actually made with fine white sand. Now the nail is already prepared, so I'm going to apply my nail form. Put the curve in your form. Place the curve under the free edge and make sure you get it underneath the corners. Stick down the sides. Stick together your little wings. Then apply your second coat of primer so the primer is wet when you apply your acrylic. Now I'm going to apply the Glistening Sands Prisma to the free edge. Dip your brush in, wipe it away from you, drag towards you in your powder, get your ball, place this ball on the free edge, let it flow, and then pat it out. Bring in the sides, bring in the sides, Wipe off your brush, get a little bit of liquid, make your smile line. Clean up your free edge.
pat it out, get it just how you like it. Now I'm going to be applying the original natural acrylic powder to the nail bed. Dip your brush in, wipe it away from you, drag towards you in your powder, get a nice ball, place this halfway down the nail bed, let it flow, and stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away from you, drag towards you in your powder, place this ball about a 30 second of an inch away from the cuticle, let it flow, and then stroke it out. Side, side, center. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you, place this ball almost at the cuticle. This is your stress ball. Let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. As the nail starts to dry, it's no longer shiny. I'm going to squeeze the C curve. This makes the nail nice and strong, nice and slender, and gives a beautiful curve to the nail. Now I'm going to file my nail with my 180 Zebra and buff my nail with my Clean Finish Buffer and clean off my nail. Now apply Top Gel Plus over the entire nail. Cap the tip and cure 40 seconds in an LED or 2 minutes in a UV. The top gel is now cured and we're going to clean the surface with Clean It and a Wipe It. And apply a little bit of conditioning cuticle oil. And we have the new Dazzle Rocks Glistening Sands Prisma Acrylic and Natural Acrylic and it's very smooth. That is a simple, elegant look. I will be demonstrating a pink and white sculptured nail using the new Dazzle Rocks Twinkling Stars Prisma Acrylic and Original True Pink and the Crystal Clear. My nail is already prepared, so I'm going to apply my nail form. Put the curve in your form. Place the curve under the free edge. Stick down your sides. Stick together the little wings. Apply your second coat of primer so the primer is wet when you apply your acrylic. Now I'm going to be applying the Twinkling Stars Prisma to the free edge. Dip your brush in, wipe it away from you, drag towards you in your powder, place your ball on the form, then pat it across, bring up the sides, bring up the sides. Wipe off your brush, get a little bit of liquid, make your smile line, get it just how you like it, shape your free edge, wipe off your brush. We're going to be applying the crystal clear acrylic over the top to seal our dazzle rocks. Now we're going to be applying the True Pink to the nail bed. Dip your brush in, wipe it away from you, drag towards you, get your ball, place this ball halfway down the nail bed, let it flow, and then stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away from you, drag towards you in your pink, place this ball almost at the cuticle, about 30 seconds of an inch away. Let it flow and stroke it out, side, side, center. Then you're going to apply your stress ball. Dip your brush in, wipe it away from you, drag towards you in your pink. Place this ball almost at the cuticle in the center of the nail bed and then stroke it out, side, side, center. As the nail starts to dry, it's no longer shiny, we're going to squeeze the C-curve. This makes the nail really strong. I'm going to file the nail using my 180 Zebra, and then I'm going to buff with oil using my Clean Finish Buffing File and my Conditioning Cuticle Oil, and then clean off the nail. Now I'm going to apply A-plus coat. 
over the entire nail. A pink and white sculptured nail using the new Dazzle Rocks White Twinkling Stars Prisma and True Pink. I will be demonstrating the new Dazzle Rocks White Sandies, which is made with fine white sand and you can use it just like you would use Dazzle Rocks glitter. My nail is prepared and I'm going to apply my Top Gel Plus. I'm going to use my little scooper, scoop my sand into my scooper, turn the nail over, press the nail into the sand, completely cover it, check and make sure it's completely covered. And then cure it. 40 seconds in an LED or 2 minutes in a UV. The nail has now cured. We just brush it off. Take your clean finish buffer around the edges just to smooth it a little bit. And the nail is done, leaving a textured matte finish with lots of dazzle. I will be demonstrating the reverse method of a pink and white sculptured nail using Dazzle Rock's White Sparkling Cloud over the new Satin White Prisma and Extra Cover French Pink. Now my nail has already been prepared, so I'm going to apply my nail form. Put the curve in your form. Place the curve under the nail. Stick down the sides. Squeeze your little wings together and apply your second coat of primer so the primer is wet when you apply your acrylic. I am going to be applying the Extra Cover French Pink on the nail bed, creating a little chevron. Get it just how you like it. Wipe off your brush. Dip your brush in. Wipe it away. Get another little ball of pink. Place this almost at the cuticle area, about 30 seconds of an inch. Stroke it out. Now you have your nail bed. Now I'm going to apply the white satin at the free edge. Dip your brush in, wipe it away from you, drag towards you in your powder, place this on the nail form, move it right in there next to your pink, wipe off your brush, get a little bit of liquid, bring out your sides. I'm going to angle my tip to give me the same little shape of this chevron like on the nail bed. I'm going to apply just a little bit more of the white satin so the acrylic is wet, really wet when I apply my white sparkling cloud. I'm going to be encapsulating it. I'm going to use my jeweler's tweezers picking up just a little piece at a time. And you just lay it in there. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's very fun, easy to do. And once you get as much white sparkling cloud as you like, then you're going to apply the crystal clear acrylic over the top to encapsulate it. Then apply a little bit of the crystal clear 
over the entire top of the nail. And let it dry. When the nail is no longer shiny, squeeze your C-curve. And don't worry if there's any little pieces sticking up. When you file it off, it's all going to blend in and it's going to be beautiful. Now I'm going to file the nail with my 180 grit zebra and buff with my clean finish buffing file and then clean the nail. Now I'm going to apply Top Gel Plus over the top. And I am going to put a little Dazzle Rocks Rainbow Crystal Rhinestone right at the tip of my little chevron. Now I'm going to cure my nail 40 seconds in an LED or 2 minutes in a UV. Now I'm going to clean the nail with Clean It and a Wipe It. Oh, how fun that is. And then apply a little bit of A plus coat right where the rhinestone is to seal it. And now you have a pink and white sculptured nail using Dazzle Rock's White Sparkling Cloud. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.